Morning, 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 five minute meditators. I hope that as you're waking up on this beautiful Saturday morning, that you are excited about being able to be present for yourself, be present for others. Gratitude and grace of being here yet another day. That means there's something else for you to do. As we walk through this space of expectation in the month of June, I'm hoping that you're preparing yourself to change your narrative. What does that mean? That means the stories that you've been told all of your life that don't fit you, that no longer meets your needs, the stories that you have been um advice. You know how people would say you're this and that? We're changing narratives today. So ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold, hold, hold that breath. It's a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. Today I choose my narrative. Today, I choose my narrative. That doesn't mean that you're going to go around telling yourself false stories. Things that happened to you did happen. What it means is you're going to change how it impacts you. You're no longer going to let it engulf you, take away from your life, take your story. You're going to build your own story. That's going to include the expectations that you have in your life. You have that power to use your voice as the new storyteller. Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath just a few more seconds. Yeah. Ready? Release. Today I declare in my expectation I am not who I used to be. Today I declare in my expectation that I am not who I used to be. So many people try to hold you to whoever you were in your childhood that may not have even known what you went through in your childhood, but they hold you to the carpet on it. Um, I don't mind telling the world, my nickname is Richie. And so oftentimes I have to remind people that Richie is the little girl, Marcia is the grown lady. Richie, she don't show up anymore. The grown lady, Marcia, she's going to always be present. So I changed the narrative. I stopped people from trying to keep me in the box. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds. Yeah. Release. Today, I walk in the space of expectation for my newness. Today, I walk in the space of expectation for my newness. I recall being a kid that was told that she was bad and this and that and that kind of thing. And what people didn't know was my story. So in that, I no longer took that on for me. I decided and I expected to be way better than what people anticipated about me. I don't even care what people anticipate about me because I'm cool with me. That's your expectation. Be cool with you and then pull in all the things that are supposed to be uh, for you. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding it in and release. Today I celebrate my expectations and my newness. Today I celebrate my expectation and my newness. As I look around my life and I take pleasure in understanding that my life is purposed and I walk in that purpose, regardless of how things started, even regardless of the people in my high school teachers that said that I wasn't fit to achieve things that I've achieved this day. And those things were drivers. So go back through your narrative. People that said negative things to you, people that 
doubted and cast doubt on you, making you feel like you had no value and no worthy, no worth. I need you to go back and rewrite that narrative, rewrite that story, rewrite how you present for yourself. Not about these people, not about situations or circumstances. You have to give yourself that push up, that new story, that new narrative so that you can embrace your truth. Yes, embracing your truth, being your absolute best self to you. I see you. Namaste.